Assalamu alaikum everyone. In this video lecture, we will be discussing the topical past papers of biodiversity, which is the chapter of A2 level biology, 9700. Let's start question number one, part A. Sampling is used to find out the variety of species in an ecosystem and the size of the population of each species. A study was carried out to investigate the biodiversity of two fields, A and B. Field A had not been used for growing crops for 10 years. Field B had been used for growing crops until one year before the study. Random sampling was carried out. Describe how random sampling could be carried out on, a, on plant species in two fields. So guys, uh, as you all know that uh, we carry out sampling in order to find out the variety of species in an ecosystem and we also carry out sampling to find the population size or the species abundance, right? We use sampling to find the population size of a particular species or we use it to find the species abundance. And you all know that there are uh, two types of uh, samplings like uh, the systematic sampling and the random sampling. This question is about the random sampling. And we need to uh, describe that how random sampling uh, could be carried out on the plant species in the two fields, which are A and B. So guys, if you recall, whenever uh, we carry out sampling, we mark the area with measuring tapes, right? So as you all know that what we can do is that we can mark the area with two measuring tapes. For example, this is the area which we can mark with uh, two measuring tapes, right? And obviously, uh, the measuring tapes uh, will be in meters, for example. So this is one meter, this is two meter, three meter, four meter, five meter, and so on. Uh, the measuring tapes could be of uh, 100 meters, right? And for example, again, uh, for example, this is uh, one meter, this is two meter, this is three meter, and so on. So first you uh, mark the area, uh, first you mark the area uh using the measuring tapes and wh then what you do is that you use a random uh, number generator application or a random number generator device to find the coordinates for example i can use the random number generator app or device to find the coordinates so for example uh the random number generator gives me the coordinate one two so uh at this point that is one two i will place a square frame quadrate right and for example, the square frame quadrant that I'm placing is maybe uh, of one meter by one meter or 100 centimeter by 100 centimeter, right? This is the square frame quadrant that I'm placing. And when we place the quadrant, we count uh, the number of the individuals of a particular plant species in the quadrant to find out uh, the species frequency. If we are not able to count the individuals we uh, find out the percentage cover using the grid quadrant right this is how we carry out sampling so uh, let me reinforce it further that we mark the area uh, with the measuring tapes and then we use the random number generator application to find out the coordinates and we get various coordinates so that we can repeat the sampling for example next time i got two four so i will place the quadrant at this point right and the same square frame quadrant of the same size will be placed right so we will place uh, multiple quadrants in the entire field and whenever we place the quadrants uh, we count the number of individuals of a particular species and then we calculate or measure the uh, species frequency if we are not able to count the individuals we find out the percentage cover and percentage cover is defined as uh, the percentage of the quadrant which is covered uh, by a particular plant species. And for that, we use grid quadrant. Grid quadrant is basically uh, a quadrant which has, uh, we can say, uh, multiple small boxes like this. This is the grid quadrant I'm drawing in front of you. So we can use a grid quadrant. And this is uh, beneficial in finding out uh, the percentage cover. For example, if a plant species is uh, covering for example this part of the quadrant so we can find out the percentage cover by 
counting the number of boxes for example uh, the plant species is covering six boxes out of uh, how many boxes out of uh, 16 boxes right so there are 16 boxes this uh, grid coordinate is four by four uh, one two three four one two three four and uh, four by four we have 16 boxes in total and uh, the plant species is covering uh, six boxes right so what we can do six boxes divided by 16 into 100 and then we get the percentage cover when we get the percentage cover uh, we can also convert it into a scale reading that is called brown blanket scale so this is how we uh, carry out uh, the random sampling right so what should we write over here we can write these points that we just discussed that start with that mark the field using two measuring tapes, two measuring tapes, or we can say two long measuring tapes. And then what's next? Use random number generator. Use random number generator. To find out the coordinates or to get the coordinates it's uh, better to write to get the coordinates randomly use random number generator to get the coordinates right and at those coordinates what you will do place the quadrant or we can say place the square frame quadrant right on the coordinate on the coordinate provided by random number generator or the coordinate provided by random number generator random number generator so, so guys why uh, do we use the random number generator we use it to uh, avoid selection bias because there can be bias while well while we are placing uh, the quadrants there can be a bias in such a way that if i'm too lazy i will place uh, the quadrant at some area which is near me and i won't go further away but if uh, i use a random number generator app so i won't be selecting any point on myself right i will not be selecting any point myself right and this will avoid the selection bias. So place the coordinate uh, on the coordinate provided by the random number generator. And then what you will use, you will, what you will do, count the number of individuals, count the number of individuals of a species, of a species in the quadrant that is species abundance, right? And you can also find the percentage cover. Count the number of individuals of a species in the quadrant or measure percentage cover, right? Or measure percentage cover. Once you have counted, what you can do? You can find or measure species frequency, right? major species frequency you can also uh, convert the percentage cover reading into a brown blanket scale convert percentage cover reading or cover per, uh, convert percentage into percentage cover sorry uh, into brown blanket scale reading into brown blanket scale reading then you will repeat the sampling where add the other coordinates provided to you by the random number generator so guys this is enough for four marks let's move on to table uh, to part b Part B says, 
state sorry table 8.1 shows the results of the sampling of field a so guys these are the results that we got from the sampling of the field a and the total number of individuals is equal to 114 and we see different species and their abundance right simpson's index of diversity d is a value of the species diversity in an area so guys as you all know that simpson's index gives you an idea about the species diversity in a particular area and the formula is d is equals to 1 minus summation small n divided by capital n whole square so guys d is the simpson's index and small n is the number of individuals of a particular species capital n is the total number of all the individuals of all the species right part 1 complete table 8.2 for primula virus so we have to find the small n divided by capital n and small n divided by capital n whole square for the primula virus and for that what we need to do we know that 26 is the small n for primula uh, virus so this will be 26 divided by the total number that is capital n and what was the total number it was 114 uh, we just saw this on the last page right what we will simply do divide 26 by 114 the answer is 0.23 uh, we will write in two decimal places actually uh, the answer is 0.228 and we will round off round it off to 0.23 because other values are also written in the two two decimal places now we need to square it and what will be the answer the answer is 0.052 so what we can do we can make it 0.05 because again this is two decimal place okay part 2 use the data in table 8.2 to calculate the simpson's index of diversity d for the field a show your working and write your answer to two decimal places so guys we have to show our working d is equals to as we all know that is 1 minus what the formula is written above summation small n divided by capital n whole square so guys we need to sum sum up these values um we need to uh, sum up these values right so let's uh, find out these values what is summation small n divided by capital n whole square it's basically um 0.01 0.01 plus 0.02 plus 0.05 plus 0.10 plus 0.01 and plus 0.00 so let's not include that right okay so let's add these all values up so guys the answer is 0.192 0.192 is the answer of what summation small n divided by capital n whole square so if you want to find the d we need to subtract this value from 1 so 1 minus 0.192 that is equal to 1 minus 0.192 that will be equal to 0.808 and if we have to um write this value in two decimal places that will be 0.81 right so the answer is 0.81 because we have to mention or we have to write this value in two decimal places the value of d for the field b was 0.45 comment on the values of d for both the fields so guys for field a the value of d is 0.81 and for field b it's 0.45 this means that field a has a higher species diversity as you all know that higher the value of d higher will be the species diversity so field a has a value of 0.81 and field b has a value of 0.45 so higher the d value or higher the simpson's index of biodiversity higher will be the species diversity so what we will write over here we will simply write over here 
that field A has a higher species diversity as compared to field B right so guys we are done with the question now we'll now we will move on to the next question